Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. Today I'm doing the I use all of my blank colored art supplies. So um, basically I'm swatching on this paper and the actual artwork is going to be on this huge paper because I ended up having a lot more pink art supplies than what I thought. Um, and you guys have probably seen this around. I know Drawing with Waffles did it and uh, Chloe Rose did it. And I, I, after seeing Waffles do it, I was like, oh my goodness, this looks so fun. And I was like, uh, I don't know if I want to do it because that's just a lot of time. And then I saw Chloe do it and I was like, oh my god, this is a trend. I need to jump on the train now, you know? So basically, I found all of my art supplies that could have possibly had any pink in them. Um, I actually didn't even realize I had all my markers. I forgot about my markers. And I sorted everything into tones, like making sure I had all my earth tones in one spot and all my bright tones and light tones just to make sure that I had, like, it pretty organized before I started because I wanted to plan, plan, I wanted to plan my colors. And I had, like, a lot of stuff, surprisingly. I had a bunch of Tombow markers and pencils and, of course, Copic markers. I forgot about them completely because, like, they're right beside my desk, but I just, I completely forgot about them and that kind of upset me. But... I wanted to do a large piece because of all the art supplies that I had and I had this like huge poster marker and I was like well I gotta use it. <laughs> so um, I just took a big thing of mixed media paper and that worked out really well because this is a mixed media piece you know. And I was kind of conflicted on how to do this because I know I wanted to do dragons. My sister was like hey you should draw dragons so I was like okay you're right. Um, because, I don't know, I was just like, I want to do a portrait, but like, what skin tones could I use? There's not a whole lot of pink people. And I just didn't want to leave the skin tone plain white. And I was like, well, I could do a landscape like Chloe. And then I was like, no, I don't want to copy someone. So, yeah, it was a little tricky. But the dragons, I don't know, I just really enjoyed them. And I tried to make their, like, flames, you know, look like they were glowing. It didn't really work out too well. I should have probably practiced that before just going ahead and smushing it on the paper. But kind of this is like a mom dragon and her son and they're like in this little cave that's like got these gemstones. I didn't make it really evident that they were gems but you'll see I did like the water drop technique to try and get more texture um, and kind of hide just the streakiness of the markers. So yeah I just I don't know I thought it was like a cute little bonding thing. I actually got on I think it's called Dragon Mania Legends to be inspired for dragons because I don't usually do dragons. I used to draw them a lot. Um, but this was kind of inspired by their little, like, fire water dragon dude. Because uh, it's, like, got that long face and the long body. So I just thought that would be really neat. And I did more earthy pinks on the outside of the cave. And then did these really, like, deep, dark, saturated pinks on the inside to make it look more, like, like shadowed, like, in the dark. And then I did the water to make it look more gemstone-like, I guess. And... I don't know, before I didn't film this, but I actually darkened the bottom of it by like layering my Tombow uh, pen on the bottom to make it look like it wasn't just so flat. I wanted to give it more dimension. And then I used kind of all my light pinks on the bodies of the dragon, and then I used my like light to like my mid tone pinks for their uh, like fur stuff on the side of them. I'm not really sure what it is, but it, it kind of acts like fur. So. Yeah, just organizing these was kind of a pain in the butt, but once I got into it, it was really good. I enjoyed doing the dragons the most, and I know I knew I wanted to do them last, so I don't know. I was just looking forward to it to the whole time, and I'm surprised I actually finished it, because usually if I start something big, I tend to not go through with it, so I was kind of proud of myself for actually doing this, and I did successfully use all of my art supplies. Some of them you can't really pinpoint and notice because they're just layered everywhere, but I checked the, the art supplies off the list. Actually, I bought a pink pen in the process of making this. And I didn't use it because I didn't swatch it in the beginning. And I wanted to go through the beginning swatches. But I did, like, do some doodles on the back with it. So that counts in my opinion. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. There's not much for me to talk about. But this is kind of like my first time doing, like, a real big trend well, it's probably not going to be a big trend. I don't know, but two people did it, and I'm, like, here in, in the beginning. I'm not kind of coasting off the end. So, yeah, I just hope you guys enjoyed this piece. I actually really liked it, and I might try to do more animals in the future. And I will see you all next week. Bye!